Samantha Jones claims she spent thousands on a job hunting wardrobe for her ex when they were together, but he never paid her back. Dorian Bakerfield says his ex didn't ask to be repaid until he broke up with her. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lauren Lake presiding. You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. Thank you, Sean. Good day, everyone. Good day. This is the case of Jones versus Bakerfield. Ms. Jones, you are suing Mr. Bakerfield for $2,000 for the cost of new clothing. Is that correct? Yes, it is. And Mr. Bakerfield, you say that you don't owe her anything. Correct. All right. Well, let's hear what happened. Ms. Jones, I'll start with you. Um, clothing. You yes. say you're suing for the cost of new clothes. What that happened? is correct. So there's clothes that I bought him. Um, he was in the middle of a job. His apartment had burned down um, through an electrical fire. And so doing so, he didn't have anything. So he is my boyfriend at the time. So I went on and I bought him some clothes so he can go on some interviews. It was three suits, two shirts, and I think some cufflinks that I bought him so he can look nice for his interview. All right, so you're in a relationship. Are you living together at that time? Six months at this time. All right. How long were you in the relationship before that? We was in a relationship for about like a year. Okay. So a year. Yes. And he had a fire. He had a fire in his, his apartment. Place. Yes. All right. So the fire wiped out your clothing, Mr. Bakerfield? Yes. And you needed to get a new job? Yes. I'm so you asked your girlfriend to help you or she offered or you asked her for a loan. How did it come about that she bought clothes on your behalf? Well, Your Honor, she knew that um, I was in between um, trying to get a better job. I was doing radio at the time. So it was a sales position and opening up and I needed a more professional look. And all, this, all these things were discussed before the fire. So it was just something she knew was coming up for me. So when the fire happened and I lost all my clothes, by her just feeling my pain and understanding what I was going through, she looked out for me and had my back. And um, she brought me some a good, nice wardrobe to be presentable so I can try to acquire this, you know, more powerful position. And you also said your, you uh, had me. I'm I, sorry, what did you say, Ms. Jones? He said that he got me. So I did purchase, I did buy him the clothes. I bought them for him. But he also said in the words, he got me. And which I have always had you, Samantha. Financially, no, you have not. All right, so... Let's stick with the clothes for now. I see it's a lot more going on besides wardrobe. It's a war. That's why wardrobe starts with the word war. All is fair in love and war and wardrobe. So let's go back to that. Let's go back to that. So you're just doing what a good girlfriend would do. There, yes. I mean, the fire is traumatic and don't want to miss out on the job opportunity. When you two had the discussion, did you make it clear, Ms. Jones, I want to get you those clothes. You need to get some clothes. You can pay me back when you get on your feet. What was the understanding? The understanding was he got me. So when he did receive the clothes, he turned back and said, he said it more than once, repeatedly, I got you. I got you. It's and not so, true, Your Honor. It is true. I have text messages to show it. I'd like to see those if you brought them to court. Yes. Thank you. So, Ms. Jones, when he said, I got you, what does that mean to you? To me, that he's going to pay me back. So it's like, thank you for doing this yeah, for me. Yeah, he received you know I the got clothes, you. and in return, he said he got me. Okay. So, Mr. Bakerfield? Yes, Your Honor. What did it mean to you when you said, I got you? Well, it's, it's, a, big, it's, it's, it's a big piece of information she's not telling you. In the course of us being together, me staying at the house with her, which I greatly appreciate it, you know, there's a lot of things I've done around the house when I was in between jobs before, you know, the good job came. I painted her master bedroom. I painted her guest bedroom. I, I did the garden. The I also garden. bought the materials for that. Well, he don't have a job. That's why you went and got the suits. The reason why I've done that, Shauna, because at the time she was appraising prices of getting paint and work done around the house. And I seen what she was going through. I took it upon my initiative to 
get the labor, do the labor myself. Coming up. So you saying, Ms. Jones, you didn't need him to do all that. You could have paid the pain. Yeah, it was things that I was just naturally saying as women do when we buy our house. You know, like, oh, I just want the walls done. And so he did But you did paint. three, four appraisals and, and couldn't afford none of them. And later. You were at the event and then you smoked marijuana where? Um, well, I had gotten there and I had gotten uh, in my costume except for the, for the, for the head. Closed captioning provided by... We're back with a dispute between Samantha Jones, who is suing her ex, Dorian Bakerfield, over money spent on a new wardrobe. So you saying, Ms. Jones, you didn't need him to do all that. You could have paid the painter. Yeah, it was things that I was just naturally saying, as women do when we buy our house. You know, like, oh, I just want the walls done. And so he did paint. But you did paint. three, four appraisals and, and couldn't afford none of them. That's what I made me feel your material. pain like you felt my pain to buy those clothes when my stuff caught on fire. Okay. I had you. So are, you're not appreciative that he did no. do the work around the house? No. Why is that? I'm not appreciative at all because the job, the job wasn't done well. Okay, so he didn't wow. do any of the work well. Wow. Wow. <laughs> no. Wow. You can see the paint marks still all on walls. It, it, it's just horrible. No. All right. And did wow. you tell him, hey, babe, thank you so much for asking, but... Don't do any more of the work around yeah, the house. Yeah, don't, don't do anything else. You told him. Uh, yes, I did. All right, so Mr. Bakerfield, when you said, I got you, yes. what did that mean to you? What was your intention behind yeah. that phrase? Because I'm looking at the text message. I see you see. And, uh, and you say no here, baby, I'm filling this suit and clothes I got. You got for me. I can't thank you enough. You say you're more than welcome. Yeah. And then Mr. Bakerfield says, you know I got you, right? Yeah. So you guys seem to have a great conversation. I'm sorry, she did not ask for nothing back until we broke up. So there was never no discussion or dialogue of, hey, when you get on your feet, make sure you pay me back. So my mind was so not- So while you together, never any mention. Never, and, I, and those favors I did for the house was because I seen how upset and how much she wanted upgrades. So I, I felt her because we were getting along and we're in a relationship, so I felt, why not help her out? I'm, I'm, I got the time, at, at the time I have the time. But when it was time for me to not have any more time from working, from getting a job, of looking nice, and it worked, you, you, the love you have for me worked, I got the job, and so I was... And now so you need to pay me back. So why did you all break up? What happened, yeah. Ms. Jones? She got controlling. <sighs> oh. She Absolutely got controlling? Not. She, she, she became controlling. She wasn't always like that. One no. of the sweetest people ever He got a job met. and decided not to be with me no more. He was out the house. He was partying. He wasn't coming home. I was sending him text message. When we gonna have lunch or, you know, want me to make you some dinner? He never showed up. Your Honor, and remind you, he's coming in my house, so I felt very disrespected. Your Honor, I work Okay, he's sales. still a guest even though we're together. He's oh. a guest. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. 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 <laughs> well... <laughs> He a sharp guest because you done bought him a whole bunch of suits and clothes and sent him right on outside. He outside living his best life. Gauging from Ms. Jones' testimony and her personality today, I don't think if you wasn't living up to your part of the bargain, she wouldn't have been offering to buy you any clothes when you had the fight. So you obviously were showing up in the relationship as a very real and 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 true and genuine and, and man i genuinely cared about her i cared about her situation i cared about her happiness as well as when she no, was it sad didn't because you moved out without telling me and then broke up with me wait a minute i thought wait 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 oh you broke up with her yes, yes. <laughs> hello yes <laughs> hello yes i broke up with it her actually because... was a goodbye a breakup <laughs> is a goodbye it ain't a hello yes sean yes, i had i broke up with her because our whole relationship was based on vibes. It seemed like the vibes changed when I began to get back on my feet. I didn't come into a relationship not on my feet. So if we were working in the beginning while I was on my feet, my best thing was to get back out there, get on my feet, and maybe we can get back to where we used to be. He didn't say that, so He just left. I, I, I found he something left. closer to the new job, a new place, apartment, and I moved out. So do you have any evidence to present today? Before yes, I do, I Your Honor. I, I have evidence I'd of like to see the it, groceries please. I've bought. I have evidence of... Take everything you okay, have. Okay, I have evidence of the labor, what it would have cost if she had to pay real workers to come do the work on her home. And they would have did a better job. I kept job. gas in her car. I kept her oil changed. So these... I kept her bath water running. I kept the salts in the bath. Honey, did... hold on. Let me... Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tell Mr. Bakerfield we're going to take some notes and pass this on to no, some folks. Yes. He was doing all that. 
Yes. Okay. But he wasn't giving me I'll the listen. quality time that I deserve and needed as a woman. Well, at this time that you were craving the quality time without communicating with me, I also acquired 40 hours of work the week of work to do a week. Wait, so things running did change. baths ain't quality time? Catch me up. Foot rubs. Mm -hmm. Foot rubs. Where were you doing this? Oh, you say that didn't happen, Ms. Jones? No, it did not. Wow. All right. What is disappointing most is that you two really seem to have a relationship where you had each other's back in the difficult time. Because patterns changed, I get that. Maybe you were feeling uncomfortable with those patterns, but that was worthy of a conversation, and in my opinion, worth you all doing your very best to save this relationship. Now, I'm gonna let y'all handle that from here, but as far as this court is concerned, the clothes you bought him, that was a gift. It's not revocable, and he does not have to pay you back for that just as when you all broke up, you don't have to pay him for the labor for the work he did in your home, even though you may not have liked it. Your case, plaintiff, is dismissed. Judgment for the defendant. Court is adjourned. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's case has been dismissed. I think she made a horrible decision. You really do owe me. You broke up with me and you left my home. I cannot sit there and act like I don't miss you. But I don't miss this vindictive type of vibes you're giving. We could have talked this out. Come